What's up, everybody? It's Joshua Casper. Welcome to another very quick Ableton Live video tutorial. Uh, this one's about the volume faders on the APC40. Um, these these guys right here, these bad boys. Okay. Um, the default setting is this line right here is zero dB, and up to here is uh, plus six. So if you come in here, and I'm moving my fader right now on the APC40, and I'm bringing it all the way to the top. You can see that it goes up 6 dB. Now, when you're using stems and you're doing a live mix, um, it's very difficult to get a mastered sound um, if you have to put your finger above um, this line here and then slide your fader up to, to stop it. So what I wanted to do was figure out a way to take this fader and be able to slide it all the way to the top to get it to the sound uh, level that I needed for the mix that I would do. If I had a bass and you know my kick, my bass, and my top here, I could just slide them. If they were at peak, that's where they should be for the best mix of the actual track. Um, and there's a quick workaround. I found it on the Ableton Live forum, which is a great place, by the way. And by this guy, 4.33, he says, just add a utility plugin, set it to negative six. And it's brilliant. So right now, if I take my volume fader, you can see it moving up and down right here. Um, it goes all the way up to uh, 6. So if I take a utility and I put it on the channel, and then I come down here and I hit negative 6, it's going to reduce the audio by negative 6 dB. So if I pump it all the way up to plus 6, this brings it down 6, so really I'm getting a nice 0. So it's pretty dope. So if, if we look here, if I delete this, and I play this track I'm working on, As you can see, if I slide it all the way up to the top, I'm redlined. It's pretty, pretty distorted, pretty redlined out. But if I take that utility, I drop it on here and do the negative six. And now I slide my fader all the way up again and play it. No red. That's pretty dope. Uh, thanks to 4.33, whoever you are. Um, and uh, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, you could probably use that same technique for other controllers and faders and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.